कुछ बातों का मतलब कुछ मतलब की बातें क्या मतलब This is your friend and host Soumya bringing to you another episode of Snippets with Soumya wherein we turn real life experiences into life lessons. Now last time I think I did mention to you about now you can find me on Instagram you can find me on Facebook you can find me on uh, various other platforms like Spotify etc which with my voice over on um, you know these platforms through another uh, partner channel which is kya matlab you can also get to hear other stories wonderful speakers on that platform so do join and uh, keep sharing what you want us to talk about so well here i am talking today to you about the mindset whether we have a victim mindset or where we have a victory mindset so it so happened that it just happened yesterday i think yesterday day before yesterday that i uploaded a nice uh, video of my fur ball my baby uh, you know talking to to me my fur ball is my cocker spaniel dog and um, she's very attached to me she is uh, she is one if i can use the word person Uh, she is one life form that has infused me with so much uh, of of love and uh, so much of um, i i can't even tell you a person who owns uh, a dog will always know that a part of your heart always uh, remains close till the time you own one of these they just open you up to another level of happiness so when i uploaded that uh, video and uh, whatever i upload on youtube i also uh, cross link it to my linkedin profile um the whole premise was just to see the kind of responses that i would get and um uh, you know i was very surprised so to see uh, one comment uh, in particular which came as a dm do you think this is a facebook uh, was that is what it said i chose to ignore it the second time the person again uh, you know sends me back this particular message saying that you you think you are doing the right right thing by attracting the right kind of audience then please go and uh, get yourself a life on instagram and it's like wow wow what was that and uh, you know you start contemplating and um, you know uh, you start getting into this whole uh, beating yourself kind of a thing that why the hell did i do that and uh, you know see what i have done have i actually diluted my position as a professional and that's where uh, you know i spoke with um, someone who's very dear to me and that person said what's wrong with you it's your platform you choose what and where and how to share who are the other people dictating this and that's when i realized the reason why i created my youtube channel my youtube channel is a chronology of what experiences i had when my son and my daughter they grow up probably their nanny uh, their grand uh, their kids uh, or my grandchildren would probably have a nanny and a and a daddy speaking to them when i'm gone so uh, that's the whole purpose of having this channel second is that um you know things may get modernized but the problems always remain the same now this is what i call a victim mentality and a vict- and a victorious mentality I could have easily said or I could have easily deleted that uh, particular post um, I could have said well this is something that people are not liking so let me just shut it down on the other hand I chose a different uh, channel to uh, to or a different thought thought line to channelize my thoughts and I said does it even matter these people don't even know you they don't have any impact on your life a human mind's memory is as short lived as that single 
thing on that page. The larger purpose remains that my daughter, my son, will come back to this channel and will use it and will always see me smiling, laughing, sharing, emoting when I'm gone from Earth. And that further motivated me to come forth and share many more experiences. We can always turn back and say, you know, oh, you know what? Um, this is not right. I have been wronged at, at different levels. People judge you at different levels. There was a very harsh comment, uh, you know, that was made to me that this is wrong at so many levels. All I wanted was a friendship. But when I'm judged, I tend to withdraw because when, when, when you're judged uh, doing certain things, that's not where you belong. That's not the person who values you. And without the value, you wouldn't want to be in that pact. Whether it is professional, whether it is personal, value and the valuing of sentiments and people is very important. If you value yourself, you will get that self-worth within you. And that is the main crux of a victorious mindset. A victim mindset will always put the blame and the onus on others. They will always go back and say, well, because of that thing, that person, that time, that purpose is where I am wronged. A victorious mindset will always go out and say, yes, it happened. Yes, it was not in my control. Yes, I tried, I gave in my best. But still, if I could, this is where I stand. And I am taking this with all humility and I am embracing this. This is a victory mindset. One is the blame game. The other one is ownership. We need to choose where we belong. No amount of teaching, no amount of mentorship, no amount of, you know, behavioral pattern setting people can come and change that in you. You have to realize it on your own. You have to create that within yourself. With that, this is Samya signing off. Take good care of you. Be the victorious person. Don't be the victim.